Hi, I'm Caitlin Solomon. Um, I'm Boyd Martin's assistant trainer, and I'm here at Bromont, and I'm riding in the CCI Three Star this year. But I'm out here with Patricia from Eco Gold, and we're taking a look at the One Star. This is number six on the course. It's a really nice fence. It's one, probably one of the bigger fences on the course, and it is after the first um, pretty tricky combination. So this is a jump where you'd be looking to, you'll be settling into your rhythm now, and you want to sort of catch it out of stride. It has an ascending face on it, so you should just be able to get a nice forward deep ride to it, and the horses should jump it really well. Okay, here we are at number seven. This is the coffin, and this is probably one of the more serious questions on the course. It is a one stride from the rail to the ditch and then a very forward three to the corner. Um, at first look I would say that this rail at the first is probably the toughest part about it because you come off a very tight turn to the left and then you have to get their eye on the whole line and they can't really see the ditch because it's just a little bit down the hill. So you want to power through your turn and then as you turn sit strong and balance up behind and then once you see your distance you want a really strong ride to the base of this and be very strong with your position because they're likely to bump their knees or sort of peek down at the ditch as they go over this. So you want to make sure you're really tall and ready to land behind them and give them a little cluck as you go over the ditch. So the distance to the ditch, it walks a one stride, but some of the greener horses might do a little chip or bunny hop, and that's nothing to worry about. So you sit tall and push for one, but if they do a little hop, just make sure they hop on over it. And then from the ditch out, you want to make sure you have your eye dead set on that corner, and you want to aim for your foot to hit that little mound of mulch on the top there, so you're at the widest face of the corner. Um, and it's a very going three out. So you want to get your three on the first stride after the ditch and just keep riding forward over the corner. This is number eight. This is another nice bigger galloping fence. Um, you want to just catch it out of stride, very similar to number six. And especially if you've had a bit of a gritty ride through the coffin at seven, this will be a great fence to get your confidence back at. So you want to make sure you have a really positive forward ride and just try and catch it out of stride and get a nice close forward distance. And I would jump a little right of this middle window because your next fence is sort of a right roll back turn into the woods. So this will be a little bit of a time saver if you jump the right hand side and stay close to the roping and make a nice tidy turn to your next fence. Okay. Okay, here we are at number nine. This is a pretty decent sized tracaner. Um, for the more experienced horses, if you've had a full season of preliminary already, this should ride quite well. You'd want to come really forward off your turn and almost think about accelerating and then as you finish your turn you'd sit down and pick their head up and package them together and ride forward at this. This isn't a jump that you want to ride backwards to because if you chip in a stride or if you ride a little bit slow to it they'll have time to look in the ditch and the more positive you ride they won't even know the ditch is there because there's a nice big ground line. Um, if you're on a greener horse you would definitely want to make sure that you're positive to this and another thing to take into consideration is the shadows on this. It's jumping into the woods so depending on what time um, the one star division goes I think it's meant to go first thing in the morning and right now it's late in the afternoon so you want to check what the shade is like on this tree line because the horses will be jumping from light to dark. Um, and this is again another fence where if you had a little bit of a, a sticky jump here, you'd want to make sure you gallop away from it and make sure you have a really nice positive ride at the next jump so you keep building on your round. So I th so far up to this point, this is probably just under halfway around and it's um, it's a tough course. It's definitely going to test the horses out and I think if you have a good go around here you will be ready to move on to intermediate or you'll have a pretty solid rest of your season at preliminary. Um, it's certainly big enough but the questions are very fair. It's a very forward riding course and I think that the horses will feed off of the positive distances and um, the forward riding they have set up at all the combinations.